What is life without identity? Being a stranger in the only place you call home. Unseen, unheard, with nothing to call your own. A stateless person is somebody who is not considered a national of any state. They are people who are undocumented because their nationality cannot be determined. These include the Shona, the Pemba descendants from Burundi, Rwanda, Malawi. Stateless people live without a record that they ever existed. For them to survive, what they have done is they've taken up casual jobs. So you will realize most of stateless communities are artisans because they only do handiwork. You become a casual laborer, with time you decide to perfect a certain skill. So like the Makonde were very good in carving. Pembas are the best fishermen in Kenya. Most of the descendants from Burundi and Rwanda, they are very good for farm work. The Shonas, they have perfected carpentry and interior design. Hiyo misukosu kwa bahari na, na, na nevi ni mikubwa sana. Yani inakuenda mtu wakisia ile boti tu ya kasi. Yuhu hame pasuka tiyari. Ya mawaja wa nyingiza dikini. Na wale wakili ya kitu cha kwanza. Alhamdulillah. Sisi hata suji tu mikosa ni kumwezi mtu. Yani tu. Suji ni sema nini. Yani mtu akija tu. Suwa la kwanza. Haku na mpemba. Yudo na mtu la kwanza. Haulizi leseni. Ndiyo kitu muhimu. Haulizi mnafuwa mtegu gani. Haulizi kitu cha kwanza. Haku na mpemba. Kuna siku moja wakaja wakasema wako wa Pemba huyu ni Pemba wakani point moja kwa moja huyu ni Pemba ambaye ni kweli ni Pemba kwa nini unatambuisha ambaye mimi ni Pemba lakini Pemba wa Kenya akasema hakuna Pemba wa Kenya Mkenya yote lazima awe na ID akaingia mwingine wewe ambaye mimi ni Kenya niko na niko na ID huyu ndio Kenya anaonyesha kama huyu ndio Kenya wewe si Mkenya kwa nini uko hapa This is a problem that is caused by our laws and how the Kenyan state was established. One, we declared people who are Kenyans were people who are in Kenya by 1920. And that is when registration of persons and issuers of, of ID, Kipande, started. But an ID was issued purely for labor. So people were listed as laborers based on their ethnic kingdom. And that is how they listed the 42 communities that finally at independence were considered indigenous Kenyans. Whereas our constitution says we have citizenship by birth, you're only a Kenyan citizen by birth if when you were born, one of your parents was a citizen. Sisi ni watoto tumezaliwa hapa Nairobi. Mimi hakuna mahali najua. Mimi najua Nairobi, chanjo yangu ni hapa Nairobi. Kusoma nimesomea hapa Nairobi. Sasa wazazi wetu walikuja sawa ya makonge bakabaki hapa hapa. Baada ya kubaki hapa si tukazaliwa hapa, tukajua hapa hakutukujua haku hiyo Burundi hatuielewi ni ipi ama ni ipi. Wazazi wangu walikuja kutoka Zimbabwe, Shona, wakakuja hapa Kenya, mimi ni mzaliwa wa hapa Kenya. Nimezaliwa hapa, lakini wazazi walikuja wakaaga. Wakaaga dunia, sisi ndiyo tumebaki hapa. Surviving in fear and without freedom, stateless persons are subjected to living where their dignity and humanity remain secondary to an identity card. When they do not have identity document, it is something that is very difficult to imagine for people who have never struggled with their identity. But if you think about it, for me to open a bank account, I need it. For you to join college, you need it for you to travel long distance board a bus not a plane a bus you need an id so their life is one of fear you you can't even call yourself a slave because even a slave is identifiable in case of an issue they would be able to be identified stateless people live like shadows without the right to own any property or business their hard work brings no growth to their livelihood and leaves no inheritance for their families. Hiyo shamba niko nayo ilikuwa ni kubwa, si kwa ndogo. Lakini kulingana na wakenya na mkenya, 
niliwahi kunyanganywa hivi hivi kimacho macho tena chama ni wa kijiji agashimama sababu hiyo shamba vile ilikuwa ilikuwa inanitosha na utoto wangu alikuja wakaingia kwa hiyo shamba mwanamke mwingine akaja kalima hiyo shamba wa kidigo na mwingine tena kalima upande mwingine ndipo uliza hapa mmepewana nani kitu alinijiwa ni jiu wewe ulitoka bunduni na shamba eh? kuna mrunda na shamba hapa hiyo nilijibu alinijibu kutokea wao chamani tukawa kuna maneno mpaka kabidi kile kipande kichukuliwe na kile upande mwingine kichukuliwe nibaki na kaka ka shamba kingine kadogo hapo katikati they can't own land they can't currently transact in mpesa during this, this covid 19 it was let's go paperless let's go try digital money those are not op- options that are open to them kama ni kazi hauwezi patiwa kazi ambayo utapatiwa ti pesa zitawekwa kwa account hiyo account ya huna kama ni simu mtu akikuwekea tu hivi unakimbia kutoa Jio simu inaweza fungwa wakati wote kama mimi saa hii ni laini ya tatu hiyo ilifungwa jo nilikuwa nimeregistiwa na mtu mwingine akakuwa meregisti simu mingi lakini itafika safari kwa mwanaanza kufuatilia hizo laini tunakuta sisi ni wateja ma customer nilikuwa nao wengi nilipoteza so hapa ile shida tunapitia ni kukosa ID hapa Kenya tunakuwa watu wa nyonge watu ambaye hakuna kitu hata upate hizo pesa zinakuwa bure jo hata zipeleka kwa banki ili uweze ufanye kitu kikubwa hiyo ni kuweka tu hapa kwa nyumba unakula na hakuna pesa mingi utakuja kupata juzi zile makazi kubwa kubwa hizo ndio zinapotea kama ukipata kama juzi nilikuwa nimepata kazi nyingine ilikuwa ya 300000 hiyo kazi si kuipewa juu tulienda kuandikiana kaambia weka ID hiyo kazi ikaishia hapo akaniambia siwezi ku trust juu au ID So they get tenders from companies. But you sign the contract, you sign through the name of a neighbor or you just create trust and hope this person will, will pay you. So most of them only get paid a deposit. The final payment, whoever you are dealing with decides I am not paying. But what can you do? How do you go to court? How do you tell anybody that I am coming to court? I have no identity document. as as say Kenyans or citizens we take it for granted but you only get state protection and state support if you're a citizen if a foreigner has problems in Kenya they must report to their ambassador their consular or their high commission protection for human being is accorded by the state if you're stateless you have no state to offer you that particular protection sisi yani tuaishi kama wanyama hatuna raha yani ilikuwa ile gari ya polisi ikitokezea basi ni kwamba wewe kilichoko mbele mbele ni kwako chochote kile hujali kwa sababu watu ilikuwa kipiga sana unaona hata mama yangu alio Mama yangu aliwahi kwangu kiajiwe akafa iko amenua mbele yametoka Yaani kwa kukimbia mateso alipokufa mama yangu mimi nikaona sina jinsi ya kukaa pale mwaka 86 nikafungwa kwa sababu ya kitambulisho nikafungwa miezi tisa During Covid for some reason which is unfortunate most of the stateless communities live in the counties that had containment measures so they live in Kwale they live in Mombasa they live in Kilifi um some a few of them are in Lamu they are in Kajiado they are in Nairobi so during this period and the hardship that have faced stateless people they are destitute they have lost hope Corona ilipokuja ndiye imekuja na maneno mengi 
kwanza hata barakoa yenyewe kumpata ni shida msaada wenzetu wanapewa wewe uko pale ukifika unaangalia hakuna kitu unapewa nambia lete kitambulisho tangu ulimezeeka mpaka leo uko hapo hujapata kitambulisho wanakuonesha watoto wadogo hawa watoto kama hawa wamepata kitambulisho wewe ukiwa wapi sisi tuna vilio vingi si vya corona tu ni vilio vingi kimoja wapo ni hiki ambacho tunakizungumza kabla ya hii corona sisi tayari corona ilikusha kuingia zamani maana hatuna uwezo wa kufanya chochote sasa hii corona imekuja kutumaliza kabisa kwa sababu hatufaidiki na chochote hata nikienda kwenye fole labda ya msaada mimi sipati natakiwa niwe na ID watoto wanakufanja mimi nabaki nahangaika tuna haya maisha for the pemba once they fish if there is no movement out of Kwale and Nairobi where does the fish go Corona ilipokuja imezidi kudidimiza kwa sababu kama umekwenda baharini zamani ilikuwa hao za kilo 150. Naona. So, kwa sababu kila janga likija kuna wengine anufaika na ile janga, kuna wengine janga la la didimiza. Naona. Mtu kama ah sasa kuna corona bwana, mimi samaki yao kama wataka ilikuwa 150. Ah kama wataka shilingi sabini au thamanini. Utapeleka kwa samaki. Utauza. Sasa wakati shilingi 150 kwa haikutoshi katika familia. Je, shilingi sabini denied of identity they live an invisible life without access to basic needs when covid came they had to lock themselves in their houses and like for the shona they locked themselves up until they couldn't so they fled and because they were so desperate to feed their families at that point there were containment there was a mini lockdown in isili that is one of their major market so they woke up very early used the panya route into Isili just to sell their wares to survive. We kurufika hii janga la corona. Watu wenye tunaenda tunapelekea order sana sana wa wa nini wa aria huko Isili. Hakuna kitu wanachukua sasa. Kama mimi saidi yangu maisha ni magumu. Jo hakuna mahali nitasema ati nitaenda kusema nitaomba kazi nipewe ndio sina kitambulisho. Hapa mahali niko sina wazazi. Mimi ni mjane. These are people who survive by running away from law enforcement agencies. Ordinarily when they are arrested even if the policeman has or woman has no any other offense they will charge you for not having an ID. You will be charged with being illegally in Kenya. Mimi ni mjenzi saa kumi na mbili nikachukua vifaa vyangu nikaenda zangu kujenga nikakuta na maofisa Mimi nikakuta watu mwenda mbio e, lakini mimi nikaona sende mbio ikabidi inende kule waliko mpaka nikawafika wakanishika wakaniuliza eh wewe kijana eh umetoka wapi nikiwaambia mimi ndajenga nda wakinambia haiwezekani wewe mtanzania wakanambia Hebu ngia hebu kwa gari mpaka ukatupe wapemba wenzako. Nikiwaambia wapemba wenzangu sizi hao hawapo hapa. Nikiwaambia wako baharini wakanichukua wakikabidi wanipake garini mpaka beach. Tukaenda kwa beach. Lakini mimi sikwenda kukuonesha wapemba wenzangu. Mimi nilikaa tu pale. Wakila pitaye waniuliza huyu ni mpemba. Niliwaambia mimi si mpemba. Hata kama ndiye mpemba namwambia si mpemba huyu. Mimi si njuu. Nikaletewa zile kadi tulizopewa kwa kuonesha wale maofisa wakaichukua wa, wa, wa moja kwa moja wakati nafukoni wakaniambia wewe umedanganywa ni uhuru kwa kuwa mnapewa ikadi umedanganya kabisa akaja ofisa yule mkubwa yule mkubwa wao alipokuja akapewa kipande kile akakiangalia yeye ndio akatia mfukoni mwake moja kwa moja hapo wakanichukua wakafika kwenye tandani nilipo kwa kwale nikifika kule ngikombelewa rumande karibu kama wiki na wiki nzima na, na kama siku mbili tatu when it comes to education because they have always lived here they wade through education when they leave basic education which is primary and secondary and they need to go to tertiary institution universities and so on they are on their own watoto wetu ndo wataendelea kusomesha 
na watoto wetu kusomesha twashindwa mpesa mama kaa tunaweza kuwasomeshea mmoja hivi makaribu ni nimpeleka ni lemavu hajiwezi ndio endelea kusoma sasa ndio wakashafika miaka 22 yule mtoto ambiwa haendi shule mpaka kitambulisho mama na baba wena kitambulisho na mimi sina na baba hana Napenda kwenda shule na na friend kwa na wenzangu darasani na nikimaliza shule nataka niwe niwe mwalimu mkuu nimeziwa kwenda shule kwa sababu sina kitambulisho Having education without promise their future holds no hope and the light in the youth quickly fades Nilikuwa ni matumaini yangu nije niwe kama engineer ile physics ambayo niliipenda mpaka nikamaliza nayo nilikuwa ninafanya ni iwe course yoyote lakini ile course nitabuki na nini sina kitambulisho kama ningekuwa ni nimefanikiwa niko na ID sahi na uhakika kulingana na skills ambazo sisi warundi vijana wa Rundi tulizonazo hizo skills na uhakika tuwezi tukawa tunahangaika mtaani tunahangaika kwa sababu tuna ID ambazo zinaweza kutambulisha kama mwananchi wa Kenya ikiwa ndoto yako yenye ulikuwa nayo inaisha hivyo bila matarajio ni huzuni kubwa sana tuna watoto wanashindwa kusoma kwa sababu utasomaje ikiwa huna ID birth certificate hivi vyote huna hauwezi kusoma mimi hapa nilipo tuzungumze tu Kiswahili Kisi ukizungumza English hapo tutakosana. Utaongea peke yako. Maana sielewi. Simlaumu mtu lakini sikutaka iwe hivi. Sasa mimi okay, nishakubali kwamba ni hali ni hii. Lakini hawa wengine wanaokuja wasiwe kama mimi. Wawe wamesoma. So we are saying we are telling government even if you can you not yet decided whether you're giving them citizenship or not. Please give them education. Let those who can go to university go so that when they are naturalized they are not so far behind because for instance the makonde were naturalized but they were so poor so behind in education that even when they are told give us five people who can be employed here nobody is qualified so for birth registration it's different anybody who is born in kenya or dies in kenya that record of that birth or death must be kept. I think last year we the Shona got close to a thousand birth certificates for the very first time and we are very encouraged because one Shona girl um, and I think there are two others who we are still following up with their birth certificates they've been able to register for university get admission and they are paying the Kenyan rate. Doing economics has been my passion ever since I was in high school. My role model is David Rindi. Right now, I'm waiting to join the University of Nairobi to do Bachelor of Economics. I suppose to register online. And again, I have to have an ID. I had to write a letter to Dr. Fred Matiangi, to George Magoha. After they received my letter, they talked to, to the Kenya Human Rights Commission, and even they called the University of Nairobi. That's when I got to get in that university. Being a first girl to reach university, I'm the first Shona in Kenya to reach university level and I'm really determined to even go far, to go beyond and do masters and do PhD. These communities are shackled by their past, their ancestries deciding their fate several decades on. With no way to change their roots, they're pushed to survive in the periphery of the community. We've worked with all stateless communities um, one, just to build their capacities, for, for us to affirm them based on their, just their humanity, affirm their dignity, affirm that they are people who deserve to live uh, in dignity. Kulingana na hali alisi tulionayo, naisi upweke, lonely. Gina linatumika pale, sana sana na mbwa, ah, uyo ni mrundi. Yani kubaguliwa na shangaa kama ni mrundi na nimezaliwa Kenya paka nimemaliza form 4 nikiwa hapa huko ambako ninatajiwa sikujui 
Sasa ukinitajia mimi ni Mrundi, nani atanisaidia? Kuna tofauti baina ya yangu na wenye nilisoma nao. Sasa hii kuna wenye wako na makazi na kuna wengine wako na vibarua. Mimi hata kile kibarua kupata ni ngumu. Nile kufanya kazi tu ya mkono ya self kama self employment sababu kila kibarua hata cha hata ya mkorogo lazima uwe na ID. Yaani ni ngumu. As a result of them speaking out, leaders in their local areas have emerged to support them. So for instance, among the Shona, the local MCA and the area member of parliament came out very strongly. Kama serikali ya county government kwa sababu mimi nafanya na serikali ya county, nimekuwa tukijitahidi sana kuona masirahi yenu imeweza kushughulikiwa. Na wengi wenu najua ile kilio hata iko ndani yenu ni siku gani hii ambayo mtaweza kutambulika kama wa Kenya si ndio na sio bado ndio maombi yetu hiyo hatujaacha na hatujasahau on a regular basis whenever stateless people are stigmatized or attacked by locals and whenever they are faced with attacks the stigma is so deep so they become so dejected because they feel worthless. They can't take up a fight because who fights for them? I was to go to the hospital. I was going 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 to go to the hospital. Na kanitandika na magongo pale hata ni kwa watu. Mimi nikachukua hatua nikasema nenda polisi. Kwa 14 nasikiliza kesho koti nikaja kubishwa mlango. Ni sisi askari umeshitakuwa na shelali kwa mlimpiga na mlimje ruhi. Kaambia mimi ndio nimeita kesi yangu mwanzo hapa kwa mimi amenipiga kwa sababu wewe ni mwanamke mimi ni mwanamke. Nikaandika mpaka P3 nikaambani kwa mambo ya koti yangu ya kubadilisha kesi kujitetea mimi ndio nimempiga. Nikadaiwa ID nikapeleka hii ID yangu tuko kwa mimi of Kenya. Nikaambia ya ID haijulikani. Wakaandika kosa la kwanza la kuwa nimempiga Shelali kosa la pili nikaambia ameingia katika nchi kwa njia haramu. Sasa alifanya kile kitendo kwa sababu alijua mimi ni mgeni sina haki. Nchi ni huru. Lakini sio kwa Pemba. Kwa Pemba bado haijakuwa huru. Siku yetu ya Ramadhani ile hapa mimi nilifanywa visa. Kwanza nilikuwa na mfugo wangu ambao kwamba ilikuwa ni mbuzi kumi. Mbuzi kumi zile zikaibiwa baada ya kushaibiwa ikabaki ya mbuzi moja. Sasa hiyo mbuzi bana kabla ya kuida hai mimi akaja jamaa mmoja akanambia eti wewe wasema kama una mbuzi hapa. Namwambia mimi nina mbuzi akatoka ndugu yake akaja akanipiga ngumi hapa. Unyanyasaji sasa. Ajabu hao hao leo nifanya makosa wao ndio waliokimilia polisi wakaenda waka nipeleka polisi kwanza yatoka mwaka 82 nikaishi vanga hivi hivyo mateke mateke lakini vanga hii mimi sijulikani sijulikani kama mimi ni mkenya kwa sababu wenyewe sina uraia yani tuwageni 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 tumejaribu kutafuta vitambulisho lakini hatufanikiwi unrecognized by any government no one fights for them no one defends them. No one speaks for them. They belong to no one. There's a lot of stigma from the society. You feel isolated, you feel unwanted and unrecognized. You are not free. You get coiled up. You feel you are not supposed to be here, but this is the only place and this is the only home we know as our home. We have no other place to go. I should not be blamed for being a Pemba because I just find myself and there a Pemba. I didn't decide or choose to be a Pemba. And it doesn't feel right if you isolate or you neglect your fellow or your friend because he's from a certain tribe. It's inhuman. I think it's better if you just treat each other as human, as one 
and equal. If we are to remain one united Kenya, we will never really move ahead until everybody moves every step with us. As we move forward and make our choices as a country, let us remember that and invest in transforming this country for our children, for our future, so that the lived experiences of bitterness by stateless people, by even some of the other Kenyans, are not repeated moving forward. The world cries for Black Lives Matters. Here in Kenya, let's cry for minorities matter. Stateless people's lives matter.